Oh no, that's not good. What the heck happened here? Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. Today we're playing Make It Inside. Uh, let's delete our progress. So we're going to be doing a late night delivery to the region of a mine. And we're going to get stranded and we're going to need to try to survive, I think. It's about all the itch page said. Apparently nobody else has played this. Mother Nature is such a beautiful thing, she allows us to take so much. But what will happen when the day comes, when she decides to take what she has given back? That's a good question. I feel like that's a very philosophical question. What will she be then? Well, probably very angry at us. But yeah, this was another recent game that had popped up on Itch, and it seemed like it would be pretty cool, at least conceptually. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive on in to make it inside, and I'm hoping that this is going to turn out really well. There's actually been a lot of indie horror games I've tried to record of late that just turn out not to be very good, and it's actually been really disappointing. Get inside. Okay. I can do that. Uh, so let me see. What does this say? Gold shine resources? It's kind of hard for me to tell. I have to look over at the other thing. Yeah, gold shine resources. So, like, for me, with how the contrast is, this is low as heck. I need to get the guard to open the gate. The truck will be fine for a second. Okay. Uh. Oh, that's not good. Okay, seems like... Well, it seems like we have kind of weirdly incorporeal grass here. Um. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so whatever, something tore open the panel here. Oh, come on, don't do that to us. Quick, quick, run, run, run. Yeah, I feel like if I was this dude, I would have booked it for the door and tried to, like, do one of those, like, sick dives through. Well, that sucks. Hang on, is, can I do press the open button? Uh, come on. Oh, I, there we go. Open, open. Uh, call, open. Can I, like, splice some of these wires together? Can I, like, MacGyver a solution out of this? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, how about anything in here? Is there a crouch? Nope, there's no crouch. or just a jump. Uh, so, alright, what are we gonna... I left my phone in the truck. Well, man, that's why you don't do that. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to try to... F hit the door to open, right? Uh, can I... Okay, that door malfunctioned. This is nothing. I feel like I need, I need to do something over here. But alright, yeah. Uh, opening of the game, it's not... Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, opening the game's not too bad. Uh, so far, I'm noticing a little bit of a clunkiness problem. There's like... I don't remember what it's called in game development, but there's something about like how much an object can move up or down when it moves forward. And I... And there's not really any of that here for this, so I feel like I'm going to need to be really careful going over any kind of a gap or something just to make sure I don't inadvertently get myself killed. Sorry, right, well, yeah, we're on Goldshine Resources. Let's see, what the heck is that over there? I'm really hoping... Oh, goody, that's a checkpoint. Oh, no. That's not good. What the heck happened here? There's like these weird demonic skulls. Yeah, there's a flashlight. Maybe I'll put that back. What the hell was that? I don't know. Was that like containing whatever the thing is? And I just realized how quick that battery drained. Christ on a cracker, that's not good. Okay, well, what does this thing say? Shaken light 2.0, now twice the battery life. It's useless. Okay, ready, turn off soon, full recharge. When your battery begins to get low, simply turn off the device and allow our patented kinetic absorption technology to recharge the flashlight from built-up movement throughout the day. A fully discharged battery will require you to wait until it's fully recharged before resuming usage. Money grabbing. Oh god, okay, so basically... Yeah, don't don't let this run all the way out. I'm actually curious. So how? So it seems like it lasts a decent amount of time. 
And then I'm curious how long it'll take it to actually fully recharge if I find myself in a bad spot. I actually kind of like this flashlight too. It has a nice, uh, I think I talked about this before. It has a nice, what's called a cookie effect. Um, that like you can see the little like shatter marks on the glass or, you know, a stereotypical uh, flashlight has like the center has a little bit of a darker area and then there's like a ring of light around it. Oh uh, yeah, that's called a cookie in games, or at least in game development, I believe. And it's uh, very interesting to see, uh, but I like this one because it's very minimal. And uh, it's also kind of interesting. A lot of games it just pops out from the front, but this one it's actually popping out of your right hand. Yeah, it actually feels like it's it's held by the player, which is really cool. Bastard broke through the barrier. I didn't even hear him get past the first one, like he just appeared out of nowhere. Got clipped by debris and fell over while he chased after Scott and Jeff. Now I've just been hiding behind the cars, but I'm having trouble stopping the bleeding. This damned overturned truck is stopping me from leaving. Why hasn't the gate guard investigated yet? The police should be here already. I can't worry about that now. In a few hours, the diesel delivery guy gets here. He'll know something's up and call for help. Until then, I need to find somewhere safe. It's only a matter of time before they find me. Notice that they mostly stay away from the cabin. Would love to hold up in it, but Goldshine's security system has it locked up. I gotta try getting over this fence and past the gate. I still have my flashlight and my utility belt. Should be able to flag down a car on the road with it. I've gotta make it. And there's a bloody handprint. What, what did that say? Oh my god, all this blood. I, I kinda couldn't read that because of how bright that was. Okay, so whatever this thing is, it's... Also, I just got like wedged against the car there. Weird. Um, so whatever this thing... Oh no, the diesel! Okay, well, hopefully somebody knows notices that when the forest starts to burn down. Well, at the very least, that means somebody will know. You know, honestly, normally that would look really bad. The whole, like, really low-res pixely thing, that actually kind of is endearing in this. Because this isn't a game that's, like, going for Super AAA. I mean, this is very much an indie game. The environments as they're built, the the objects and stuff, how it feels. This is a very indie game. Looks like it's in decent shape and might even still run. Eh, well, maybe. Oh, hello. Can I... Okay, I don't need the ladder yet. And what's down this way? This is area B. Okay, I'll need to... I'll need to wait a little bit. And what is this area? This is somebody's fancy sports car looking thing. Where the hell is everybody? I spent 30 minutes waiting for someone to come out here and park my car. You all had better count yourselves lucky I have my relaxing meditation soons going. If my ch if my chia, I think it means chi, if my chia was any more out of whack, I'd have you all fired. Since I'm such a nice guy, I'll let all you slackers off with half pay for a week. First one to park my car before I get back from yelling at your foreman gets to keep his paycheck and setters his karma. I feel like Mr. Uh, Mr. B. Goldshine there is about to find somebody taking a giant, uh piss all over the inside of his car. Okay, what's this? Per Mr. Goldshine's direct orders, if Gary Tompkins, the previous property owner, is spotted anywhere near the work site, the police are to be notified immediately. You are to contact both Mr. Goldshine and myself after the authorities are notified. Furthermore, anyone found repeating any of Mr. Tompkins' tall tales, as Mr. Goldshine calls them, will have their employment terminated effective immediately with no warning. It should go without saying that currently Mr. Tompkins is part of an active police investigation after the deep mine explosion a month ago. We found a homemade mine shaft below his previous home leading to the mines after his eviction from the legally purchased land of our well-reputed Goldshine Resource Company. He has evaded police custody and warned is out for his arrest. We need everyone to keep an eye out and stay safe. That's from Hollinger, the foreman. So it sounds like uh, whatever that dude's name was probably... Probably knew there was something bad. What is this? Have you seen them? Can talk, huge, why only at night, wears clothes, poof, just disappears, how many? Interesting. Okay, so there is... There's three spots? So hang on, how is this... How is this laid out then? I see like three little regions here. Uh, let me, let me try to, like, map this out. So is it directly to my left? Is that... Is that the first area? And then is that the second? Like, is that top middle one? Is that sort of the exit? The entrance and exit? 
So wait, what is that thing? It's huge. It where? Okay, so it's like a bird with a helmet on. Okay, let's go check out this flaming sign, I guess. And then go from there. Oh, this is like all steamed out. Oh, this is a... Uh... Yeah, this is another guard shack. Okay. This one got tipped upside down. Alright, and there is stamina management, so I'm gonna need to be very, very careful here. Uh, let's see. So I guess, yeah, let's just try out... Try out area B. I'm not sure I'm gonna like this. What was that? The fudge was that? Okay, you know what? Honestly, this is, uh... This is doing a good job of being spooky. Yeah. I mean, like I said before, you know, it's, it's a very indie horror game. But not really in a super bad way. It's just like a... This is very much a developer who just kind of had an idea and wanted to make it, and kudos to them for that. Oh, what the hell are you? Oh god, is it like a giant mantis? Oh god, it is. Okay. So it's like a giant... Yeah, it's like some sort of giant mantis creature. Uh, boy. Alright, so am I gonna need to... Can I... Uh, am I gonna need to, like, shine my light on it to keep it at bay? Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Also, what the heck? Is that a seam in the world? Developer. There's a seam in your world. It's not a big deal. It's always just kind of fun to find that stuff and be like, oh, it's, you know, the stuff that you'd have to, like, really look for to see it. All right. I've been hearing a lot of rumors from Jonesy, or about Jonesy being taken by monsters in the forest, and I'm putting an end to them right now. We all know he's known to flake off for a week or two, then come back after a bender. This time I'm sure he's just taking his time after the recent events in the mine. We have had reports of animals walking under the site at night. Now that night work has started, corporate has moved out a trailer with additional lights to scare any critters away, which seem to be working. Report any broken bulbs to my office ASAP. I'm and my hands so you know I'm taking action. I'm not corporate. Stop saying you see a bug creature like him at night. We lost good people down there, some he knew. These jokes are down the or over the line and are scaring the newbies. Okay. So wait, what did that say? Was they're taking action? I'm not corporate. Yeah, I guess that's fair, right? We know he's Okay. Oh fuck. Well, that sucks a lot. So where is this thing? I'm getting nervous. And I'm not gonna lie, like, the creature design was very silly. But at the same time, I'm, I'm actually kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm mildly spooked here. No, a little bit, right? Like, I'm sure once, you know, once a death or two occurs, I'll probably be a little bit more chill, but... What does that say? That's a key... Did that say a key to the home? Oh, okay, so let me see. Find a way into the cabin, find a gas can for the generator, find a fuse for the security box. Okay. Looks like the entrance is still under construction. Oh, God. Oh, fudge. Wait, what? Okay. Boy, that's a hell of a screen. All right. Interesting. Okay, so where did that thing get me from? I also don't like the weird webbing effect I'm seeing here. That suggests to me something unpleasant. Oh yes, yeah, so that's entrance to area B. Uh, what about this? Oh my god, so much reading. Screw this noise, the foreman thinks it's a joke, but I know what I've seen. Consider this a journal of what started happening at the B entrance after the first cave-in. Two days after the new shaft caved in and we lost half our crew, right before the third shift, Jonesy went into the woods to take a piss, and after a while I finally went to yell at him, and I see the old bastard standing in the tree line. Guy was like a freak show. His skin was all pale and gaunt, and he had these glassy eyes, all covered in what I swear was blood. Or something, I don't know. He looked more like a corpse than the old raving coot we saw the cops pull from his cabin. The way he was staring at me, it was less like a threat and more of a promise. It felt like he was going to rush me at any moment, but I just couldn't move. It was like this cold blue light surrounding him made me freeze up. And then get this, he turns around and darts off like an animal. 
When I say that, I mean an all four is like a mountain lion or something. I've never seen anything like it. Then I heard Jonesy belt out a scream and suddenly go silent. Not sure of what to do, I ran back to my car to get my phone and call the cops. They said they couldn't find anything. No tracks except for Jonesy's, and they stopped at a tree and disappeared, like he was there one moment and gone the next. Despite that, we all thought Jonesy left at first was pulling some kind of prank on us. The truth are too crazy to believe, even for me. And that's the lie I chose to believe for a while. Then a few days later, after second shift, I saw him. It was Jonesy or something close to him. He was all bloody, covered in bugs, trying to crawl towards me. His arms and legs were all bent and crooked, and his voice. He just sounded different. He had barely made it into the trail before the spotlight hit him, and he started screaming like it was hurting him. That scream, I remember the way it made my hair stand up, like a pig getting gutted. Then, just like in the police report, he vanished. I blinked, and he was gone. Now I see something like him when I'm leaving the construction site a bee in the woods every now and then, but only at night, like he's stalking us, and the light is keeping him away. I pray it never goes out while I'm here. I can only really get a glimpse of him, but that thing, it's no longer Jonesy. So yeah, Mike, it's been me. I've been warning everyone to stay out of the woods. I've been spreading these rumors you seem hell-bent on squashing. Well, don't worry. You won. Tell Goldshine to keep his money in his dumbass meditational centering. Maybe you should meditate his head out of his ass and pull the plug on this place. Whatever his robot found in that mine is not worth it. It's bad mojo here and more people are going to get hurt soon. I just know it. Okay. There was, uh... There was another path back here, wasn't there? I feel like this might be a bad idea. Might just be nothing, but... Oh, hello. Giant bird. What did I say? Uh, tweet, tweet. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Alright, so this is one of them. Okay. So that, I think it was called the Dweeb Canary. Now, what did this say? Fuck this shit. I would believe that until I saw him here. Andrews, you were right. Fuck the contract and fuck Goldshine. I'm getting my guys out of the mine and we're leaving. Get out while you can. So am I supposed to just, like, run as soon as I have this? Oh, Christ. Where the fuck did you come from? Okay, that wasn't me jumping, by the way. Oh, interesting. Okay, so he's... Yeah, okay, so he's like a... Yeah, it's like this weird... Yeah, like ant bug looking creature. Yeah, I'm, okay, so I, I get what's going on here. Yeah, so that's that's the gimmick. What the heck? Oh, okay, so then the whole... All right, that whole place collapses. Interesting. Okay. Oh, is that why we have this light here, too? Oh, curious. Okay. Oh, is this another... No? Oh, I didn't even notice this. Security system manual. Ensure the security box fuse is installed and operational. All fuses are to be kept on site A. Ensure the generator is properly fueled and in good working order. Fuel is to be kept in storage or waste disposal. Key is kept on the foreman. Approval to access the cabin must be given in writing by the corporate governance office. Okay, so... Let me get out of this. Oh, no. Oh, I, I can't get out of this? What? Alright, had to basically go in and, like, continue the game from the checkpoint, which thankfully was right there. Um, however... Uh, I don't have any of my objectives anymore. Just to be safe, because if stuff wasn't loading in and I wanted to be sure, I went back and I actually just replayed this. Uh, now I'm just very curious what's gonna happen. So, let's see. So I have two other sites. Um, what is this one here? This is... Apparently Ghost Man. Caution, stay out, bloody handprint. Worksite is Fubar. An hour after Goldshine enters, the mine with half her boys. It explodes again, and this time this thing comes barreling out, attacking everyone it sees. Managed to lock itself in Shed 9 while it attacks Jackson. Must have damaged the Shed's door and forced it down. We tried to trap it in the worksite, but I don't know what that thing is capable of with that light. It almost seems like it's some kind of magic or something. Thanks to that idiot Goldshine, we had all the new materials for your shitty new office. We might just be saved. I'm running to my car and getting out of here as fast as you can, and you better too. Seems like that guy didn't really uh, get to finish his note. 
You know what I don't like? I don't like that it seems like that thing escaped. But okay, so it's something with a light? I'm noticing a lot of stuff here. I'm noticing a lot of, like, materials. And now I don't know what to expect. Yeah, I don't know what exactly to be, like, worried about here. I also really don't like having to cross into this little barrier here. But I think I'm gonna have to go through all of these sections anyway. What was the, uh... I don't remember, was it? The foreman's name wasn't Jackson, right? Oh, goody. Oh, there we go. Oh, I just noticed the ominous... Yeah, the big ominous red uh, thing up there. Yeah, the light attached to the, to the radio tower or whatever. Alright, so something about light. That's all I really know. Oh, hey, look, it's another one of these birds. This is the Mafia Canary. <laughs> Did I have to say this bird is serious business? I love it. You know what, again, developer, good work. Like, you genuinely should be proud. Okay, so these are all... This is all just, like, fuel tanks and stuff. Um, I don't know if I want to go poking around the sheds either, to be honest. Okay. Which one of these is Shed 9? Do these have numbers on them? They probably do, but it's probably not going to be a number scheme that I'm going to be able to tell. Okay, let's not mess with that one. That one's all bloody. Uh, this is all... Oh, hey, look, fuses. And yet, all of them are broken, because of course they are. Yeah, I guess what happens if somebody gets disgruntled on a mine site, they just decide to go through with a hammer and shatter all the fuses. Oh, boy. See, you know what makes me nervous about situations like this? It's just, it's the not knowing, right? It's not knowing what this thing is, where it is, what it does, how it works. Mike, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I'm losing it. Personally, brother, I've been having dreams. Well, the same dreams of being in front of a crying woman. I can never make her out, and wherever I try to get a better look at her face, she lets out this god-awful scream, and I wake up. Not a single night has gone by since Goldshine found that cavern with his robot that I haven't had this nightmare. Worse, when I'm in the mine, I swear I can hear the same cry coming from that area. I didn't want to bring this up, as I figured my mind was playing tricks on me with a lack of sleep. But since the explosion happened, it's only gotten worse. I feel like I'm even hearing whispers of waste disposal. Hate to be that guy, but I'm gonna have to split if I can't get a break from the mine. Any chance you can transfer me to construction at B? I don't mind moving dirt and eye beams until my head is clear. Seems like our buddy Jonesy there was, uh, you yeah, know, not doing too hot. Okay. So am I... Oh, did I just see... Thought I just saw a thing out there. Uh, okay, fuses. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna just wait and hide here. What was that? Okay, where... And what does that say? A entrance? Okay. So I guess the question I have is like... What am I trying to do? There's no way I can just go. So what do I have to do? Still have to find a way into the cabin. Which I did confirm. I did have the key and I tried to open the door. Because that's what I was originally doing when I first encountered the bug. And it didn't do anything. It still says it's locked, so I think the key to home, I think it, like, doesn't work. Until I've disengaged the security system, I guess? Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Okay, I thought the game was, like, freezing up because it was going to make me do something. Okay. So I can't... 
Okay, I can't seem to... I can't seem to, like, get up and get over this way. Uh, I was kind of hoping I could, and I can't, like, grab that little beam or whatever and cross over. No, it looks like they basically made a ramp up and in. Uh... Well, that's new. You know, I thought I saw something there earlier on in the middle there. Yeah, there's like that weird shape, but... I don't really want to approach that. I don't want to approach that unless I'm absolutely certain I can't, like, sneak into entrance A or whatever. Okay, can I... What did that say? That said destroyed entrance. I swear I hear crying. Yeah, I hear crying too. Listen here, Barry. This is your last chance. All the other sites are destroyed or cleared out. Verify the site and wait for your brother Dietrich to take over. Use the new drone to guide you after you lost the first one and go no further. No one gets in until your older brother gets there with his team. I swear if you fuck this up, you'll be lucky to moonlight as a bathroom gum scraper with nothing but those buck teeth of yours. That's from old Pops. Seems like Pops is kind of an asshole. Ah, uh, this is a bad idea. Yeah, looks like it, like, blew open the door. Oh, I don't want to do this, but I have to. Ah, uh, okay. And that's just, like, blood all over. G? Oh, Rage. Okay, um, so what was that thing? Who could have done this? I don't know. Still not really sure- oh boy. Oh, that's not good. What- what is this? Okay, so I need to like... Okay. Gonna just maybe hide? Alright, this thing is some sort of light demon, I guess. I. Fuck, I don't know what to do here. Oh shit. Okay. Just run there. Oh fuck. Get back, get back. Ah, damn it, okay. Oh, interesting. You will contort and rage forever through the woods. Oh, so is that like what happened to one of the people? Interesting, okay. You know, again, like, I, I kind of, like, I poke fun at these being kind of simplistic. Not really in a bad way, though. The, the loading screens and stuff, like, they're... <clears throat> yeah, they're, like, remarkably... Remarkably interesting. Alright, so I guess, like, the other question I have, then, is... You know, do I need to, like... Do I need just to avoid getting seen, or does this thing always just know where I am? Like, that's the other question, right? <sighs> okay, come on. Come on, Timmy, or whatever your name is. Yeah, that that's a really interesting, um... I guess I'd just say, like, design for a monster, though. To have something that, like, is kind of always... Ah, fudge. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Run. 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 Tits. 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 Okay. Oh, God. Come on. Run, you asshole. Ah, shit. Mmm, damn it. Yeah, g getting wedged on the, like, level structures is, is a little frustrating. Oh boy, okay, there we went. Managed to make it. Oh my god. Uh, that was actually only one more try after that. Um, except I think I somehow got wedged behind them. Oh, are you kidding me? Did I get wedged on the other side of the barrier? You're kidding, right? 
All right, there we go. Finally, I managed to actually make it out. Let me run back here just to be safe. Good lord. Yeah, after that uh, little soft lock event, I somehow ended up, uh, yeah, back here. Also, I did just have to do a fresh... Oh, look, okay, so I do still have... Uh, I, I do still have an objective. Yeah, I just did a fresh continue because I really didn't want to just, like, replay the whole frickin' thing again. Um, okay, so that still needs gasoline. Um... Oh, here we go. Okay, so th this is the fuse box. All right, so I guess I just need to go off to site A to go get some gas then. So let's see what's happening off on this side. Um, yeah, again, like, it's an indie horror game. I, I would imagine this is made by, like, one to two developers max. So I'm, I'm kind of wary of talking really badly about it. I mean, overall, still, this is a really fun little game. Yeah, you know, some of my earlier frustrations and stuff notwithstanding, I actually am really enjoying this. And it's kind of cool that there's actually multiple, like, gimmicks. You know, that one there really was just all about... Like, all you had to do was just run. That's all you could do, was just run. So it was kind of cool to... You know, and then the first one you had to, like, do the lights to, you know, blind the monster and shine it away. Yeah, it was just, uh... It was kind of cool. Also, so help me God if I have somehow wedged myself into a pit because... I can't actually, like, move. I'm going to be very unhappy. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna explore. I thought maybe there'd be one of the canaries or something down here, but... I, I don't think there are, and I'm not really gonna... You know, I'm not really about to go fudge around here. Okay, so that's the jerry cans. There's a lot of blood around here. There's really... You know what? I probably should have double-checked the map when I was over there doing the fuses, but... Oh, well. Okay. So this is a checkpoint. But before I do the checkpoint, here we go. Here's the last one. British Canary. Mm, yes. Tweet, tweet, I say. Tweet, tweet, indeed. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's great. And you know what? I mean, honestly, one of the big things that a lot of indie horror doesn't do, which is very frustrating as a player... Uh, and big kudos to the developer for including it is checkpoints. A lot of indie horror doesn't have checkpoints. Okay. Don't know what that was, but... Where is that? Oh. B. Pay. Something or other? I don't know what that was. Okay. Ah, fudge. Alright. You find your place within the forest. Okay, so whatever this thing is, it like... Yeah, it crams a mask on you. Alright, I kind of wish I could have read what that said. It looked like it said something about, like, be pay me or something? Actually, yeah, now, now that I know there's some... Now that I know there's something out here, I kind of want to see... There will be... Oh, there will be payment. And it's an effigy. Hey, Foreman, what the hell is this display doing set up here? I want names, goddammit. By the time I'm out the gate of entrance A, or I'll have your ass. You'll never work in the mining industry again, you hear me? I graced you all with my presence tonight because the board demanded I get a report out on, out on the cavern now that the re-excavation project is done. I'm taking half the crew with me, and we're going to get those results my father, our chairman, is waiting for. Hocus pocus like this, throwing my horoscope out of whack. Clean it up. Boy, gold shine is kind of a tool. Okay. So I wonder then, like, what's what's going to be the best way for me to go about this? Am I going to need to? Yeah, like, do do I need to avoid a certain path, or like, how how far can this thing see me? Because, yeah, the first time it kind of just went off to the side there. Oh, yeah, I can kind of see the T there for payment. Okay. So... That thing is kind of off to there. 
You know what's gonna happen too? If I end up dead again, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna... Okay, it's way over there. Uh, what I'll end up doing is I'll just probably cut until I get done. Yeah, that way there's there's no fudging about with you know, talking about it or whatever. So. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. And then that, cl that crushes. And I bet whatever that spirit is for some reason can't cross running water. It's like a Nuklevi. Which, honestly, am I the only one who feels like that would be a really good horror monster still? I, I would love to see a horror game that uses the Nuklevi as the creature. You don't want to ever see that. Okay. Generator tank filled, let's open the door and probably get jump scared. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Oh, that was rude. Oh, now we fall into the mine. Interesting. And somehow it got boarded up behind us. Well, I have a feeling I'm not going to like whatever's down there. Probably something far, far, far worse. Oh, really? That's just an end? Okay, so that's to be continued. Interesting. Okay. Well, there we go. I guess that was the end of the game. This was actually really pretty fun and pretty competent. Uh, developer, you should be proud of this one. Um, couple big things I want to point out is... I thought for a second I was about to start hearing Doom music. Uh, are we going to get the credits or is this going to play like a cool beat? Ah, oh, there we go. So let's see. Red Swing, Red Swing, Red Swing. I honestly probably could just say developed by Red Swing and then just put the credits for the stuff that matters. I don't know if Red Swing is one person or... or if it's like a, a small group. Um... But yeah, I mean, overall, a couple of things to really point out that were real problem areas. The movement controls are really finicky. Um, figuring out why the player gets wedged on stuff. If I sprint into something, almost all the time I have to jump to be able to then move out of it. It's like the player gets kind of just a hair wedged in and you need to jump to, like, break it. Um, it yeah, that was really kind of frustrating. Um... That, that was really the big one. You know, kind of having the thing where if I hit continue game, it doesn't, like, re-carry over everything with the save state. Uh, stuff like that. Really, the movement control was the most frustrating. If you can clean up the movement control and get, like, a more normal, everyday movement control system, uh, I'm actually, like, really, really happy with this, if that was not the problem. Uh, and then, of course, like, the other, I guess the other thing to talk about would be the bugs, right? Namely, the one where I did the second area, the... Wherever you get the fuse from, and it didn't work. You know, it, it bugged me out. Uh, that seemed to have just been a random problem. I don't know what triggered it. Maybe I got grabbed by the creature right as I went there or something, and it broke the game. I, I don't really know. Uh, but overall, uh, this was really fun. Red shift... Or red swing, sorry really really good job keep it up i'm really excited to see the second game here you actually have a pretty good understanding of what makes indie horror if you can clean up some of the bugs clean up the movement controller um yeah i mean that's really it you know it was cool to have like three different monsters or three different gimmicks <gasps> great time for me to yawn sorry about that it's about midnight for me um yeah if you can clean up the movement controller and stuff um as I was saying, oh no, I already talked about that. Uh, yeah, if you... It was cool to have three different monsters with different gimmicks. You kind of had to learn for each of them. Um, maybe it would have been nice with the second one, the rage guy, to like have to hide from him to avoid his light. And if the light detected you, then he sees you or something. But I think he kind of did that with the skull at the end. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, this was just really fun. It was short, it was nice, it had some bugs, but, you know, it had enough variety to it, and overall, what worked well was really well done. So yeah, developer, nice work, keep it up, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye out for the sequel. 
So, thank you guys very much for hanging out and watching Make It Inside. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know how you feel about this one. And I look forward to seeing you all in another video very soon.